in this video we'll see how to find the constant term or sometimes we also say the term which is independent of x or any variable okay, of any expansion let's start with a plus b the whole square so we have a square plus 2ab plus b square but suppose if we have x plus 3 the whole square so we have x square plus 2 into x into 3 that is 6x plus 3 square so we have 9 so this last term 9 is said to be the constant term or the term which is independent of x because there is no x written over here or we can as assume that 9 is nothing but 9 x raised to 0 so in other words the term which is independent of x that is the constant term has its index as 0 so how will we find a term which is a constant term and which is independent of any variable whether it's x or y or any other variable so let's take an example to understand this let's take this example root x minus 3 upon x squared the whole raised to 10 and we are asked to find the constant term of this particular expansion so the root x is our a minus 3x square minus 3 upon x square is our b and 10 is the value of our n so let's start with a basic formula t r plus 1 is equal to n c r a raised to n minus r b raised to r now we don't know which term is the constant term so we don't know the value of r also so let's continue t r plus 1 is equal to n we know the value of n n is 10 so 10 c r a raised to n minus r so we know the value of a also so let's directly write the value of a instead of writing a a is our root x so root x the whole raised to n minus r n is 10 10 minus r into b raised to r b is minus 3 upon x squared the whole raised to r we don't know the value of r still let us try and simplify this let's start from here so 10 c r now root x can be written as x raised to 1 upon 2 so we can write this as x raised to 1 upon 2 the whole raised to 10 minus r into minus 3 raised to r into 1 upon x squared raised to r is equal to 10 c r as it is remember this is t r plus 1 the r plus 1th term using the law of indices x raised to something raised to something so those two some things will multiply so x raised to 10 minus r the whole upon 2 when we multiply 10 minus r and 1 upon 2 we get 10 minus r the whole upon 2 into minus 3 raised to r let us write minus 3 raised to r as it is into 1 raised to r is 1 so we'll ignore it 
x raised to 2 in the denominator can be written as x raised to minus 2 in the numerator, the whole raised to r. We'll continue. tr plus 1 is 10 cr x. 10 minus r the whole upon 2 into minus 3 raised to r into minus 2 into r is minus 2r. Now let us take the like terms together and we are mostly interested in this x because finally we want to find the constant term so the indice of x is 0. So we'll take only the x's together and we are mostly interested in this particular x. So we can say that t r plus 1 is equal to 10 c r x raised to when we multiply x raised to something and x raised to something else we actually add these two indices so we have x raised to 10 minus r the whole upon 2 plus minus 2r so we can directly write minus 2r into minus 3 raised to r we are basically concerned with only this particular variable. So, t r plus 1 is equal to 10 c r x raised to, we can put denominator as 1, so 2 1s is 2, just remove this, 10 minus r into 1 is 10 minus r minus 2 r into 2 is 4 r into minus 3 raised to r. So we know that this is the constant term. We wish that this is the constant term. So we can say that x raised to 10 minus r minus 4 r, that is 10 minus 5 r, the whole upon 2 is the constant term. So we have x raised to 0. So when we compare these two things, we have 10 minus 5 r, the whole upon 2, is 0 because both the indices would be exactly the same this and this should be equal then only we'll have the constant term cross multiplying so we have 10 minus 5 r is equal to 0 to size 0 then we have 10 is equal to 5 r and we have 10 upon 5 is equal to r therefore r is equal to 2 so we have got the value of r let us substitute so t r plus 1 is equal to n c r into a raised to n minus r b raised to r. So t 2 plus 1, in fact this is the third term, the constant term is the third term, is equal to n c r. Let us see what is the value of n. The value of n is 10, then we have a as root x and b as minus 3 upon root x. So we have 10 c r is 2 not 3 but 2 into a raised to n minus r our a is root x n minus r 10 minus 2 so we have minus 3 upon x squared the whole raised to r which is 2. In fact we know that whatever we do over here the x will turn out to be 0. We know that. But let us confirm this. So 10 c2 can be written as 10 into 9 upon 2 into 1 into root x can be written as x, x raised to half the whole raised to 8 into minus 3 squared is 9 upon x squared squared is 4. Now we are towards the end of it. 2 ones are, 2 fives are, 5 nines are 45. 45 nines are is 405 into x raised to 1 upon 2 into 8 is 4 into 1 upon x raised to 4. 
So that cancels out and we are just left with 405. So this is the constant term.